Hey, what's going on, everybody? I uh, want to do a slight review on this uh, Springfield Armory XD45 that's uh, been in my safe uh, for probably uh, for, probably for about a year. Um, I mean, I've taken it to the range, obviously, but uh, I didn't get around to doing a review, so I thought I'd do that today. I'll give you guys a look, see. Um, some of the uh, notables on the on the pistols on this pistol is uh, ambidextrous safety on both sides, obviously. Uh, ambidextrous um, mag release on both sides. By the way, I will safety check it. Nothing in the mag. Nothing in the chamber. Safe direction. But uh, it is uh, what they call, I guess, uh, a bitone or uh, two tone, meaning stainless steel and uh, polymer. Uh, this particular pistol does not have night sights. Um, this is probably one of maybe three or four pistols that I have in my collection that doesn't have night sights and usually when I do buy it when I do buy a pistol I do look for night sights uh, on this particular pistol I really didn't care this was basically going to be um, a range gun uh, something that I, you know I can take to the range or you know just for, for, for plunking and whatever anyway um, this is a pretty nice pistol I mean it is like I said stainless on the top and it is a uh, uh, polymer on the bottom uh, some of the specs on this it came with two 13 round mags uh, it has a 4.40 uh, inch steel melanite uh, barrel uh, which is fully support so uh, fully supported with a fully supported ramp uh, the sights Dovetail front and rear steel three dot. Trigger pulls uh, five and a half or seven and a half pounds respectively. The frame, uh, like I said, is polymer. Uh, the slide is forged steel, melanite finish. Um, the recoil system is dual spring and full length guide rod. Um, the overall length on this particular pistol is 7.3 inches. The height is five inches with uh, uh, compact with the compact magazine five and a half five point seven five with extended mag. Uh, the weight is uh, thirty two ounces. It is uh, semi automatic, double action. And um, the one thing I really liked about this is the checkering on the back and uh, on the front. I don't know if you could see that. Which I thought was pretty cool. Um, one of the other notables uh, on this uh, particular model is the uh, back safety here. Uh, gun will not fire unless it's depressed. Uh, anybody with uh, any experiences with Springfield Armory and their pistols uh, know, knows that. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I like this pistol. Um, more notably, I did have the XD40, and I traded that and and picked up this pistol. Um, you know, when you when you trade in a pistol, obviously you're going to lose some money. That's just the way it is. That's just you know that's just how they operate. But um, I really like the Springfield line. You can see that it has uh, serrations in the front and in the back. Uh, I like the dual safety, uh, you know, the ambidextrous safety and the safety in the back. Um, I've probably put uh, 500 rounds through this without any hiccups. Uh, as you can see, it also has a, a rail for light or laser. Um, this pistol has given me no problem whatsoever. This is a gem. Um, and like I said, anybody that knows anything about Springfield Armory or their pistols um, 
this is this is another Mac to have. Uh, I, I like the 1911 style gripping that this pistol uh, accommodates, and uh, I mean I, I don't have small hands, but I don't have little hands either. Probably medium. So my hand fits on that pretty nice. Um, the other reason why I like this pistol is because it kind of reminds me of the Glocks and I do own several. Uh, they are fun to shoot as, as this one is too. Um, I am looking uh, possibly to put uh, an XDM in my collection. Uh, I'm not really sure. I've been hearing some good and some bad about it, uh, the pistols. I know the stuff that I've read on the internet or people that has uh, reviewed them I ended up taking them back and uh, you know got got another got another pistol so I don't know what that's all about I don't know if you guys um, could add any comments to that not sure but uh, like I said just want to uh, give you guys a look see and uh, if you want to throw me your comments let me know what you think and um, I'll talk to you guys later hey and stay safe and thanks for watching